Hey everyone, Magpie 307 here, out again, doing my bit. <laughs> Just come across a nice little signal here, in this little field. Um, I don't know if you can see it alright, can't show you too much. But anyway, it's a nice little field, uh, pasture today. And I've come across a nice little signal, a lead signal I think it is, but um, I think I found something like uh, Jed Dodd finds. Jed, these uh, flax seals. Uh, yeah, definitely one of those, I think. 1836. There should be something on the back as well. That's really good condition, that one. Yeah, flax seal. H. 23 3 I'm not sure what that is Yeah, it's a bale flax seal Jed Dodd finds these all the time Surprised to find one down this way though Don't normally find things like this around this way 1836 anyway I've just struck it there with a, a shovel on on the corner there I think yeah, nice. Flax seal. Right, I'm going to bag that. Carry on with my detecting along here. Just over the hedge there is the field where I was uh, detecting with the um, uh, ploughed field where I found those hammers. Um, coming along here now on the pasture. See what else I can find down this way. Can't show you too much. Quite a big field. So yeah, I'm going to carry on, bag this, and uh, see what else we can find. Right. Oh, no, this could be an enormous sig signal. That was down deep, about 10 inches, I think. I had to dig three times for it. <laughs> I finally found it right in the bottom. But uh, yeah, looks like a moulding cast. Like a like a top of a mould, you know, and broken off. Not sure what was attached to that, mind. Big chunk of lead. It's obviously part of a mould of some sort, and that's the top of it, and it's broken off, or they've broken it off or something. Not sure what that would be off though. They moulded something out of lead, and and that's the the piece on top. Yeah, interesting. Could be Roman related because just over the hedge there is that field where the, uh, lots of Roman stuff been found, and probably in this field as well. The farmer didn't go into too much detail where the Roman stuff was found, coins and things, but uh, yeah, this could be Roman related. Who knows? Anybody know? Give me a shout. Be interesting. Yeah, right, bag that. Fill the hole, that enormous big hole in, <laughs> and carry on down this way. Yeah, see what else we find yeah, here. Just had a great signal down here. Nothing special really. Big hole. Turned out to be a draw pull. I don't think that's very old. No idea on the age of that. It's a draw pull. Probably early. I don't know, 1900s, 1930s, perhaps something like that, yeah. Not sure. Anyway, I'll bag that. We'll carry on. See what else we can find. Fill that big hole in. And I uh, thought I'd just show you the field I was in. Yeah, it's me, by the way. That's the field I was in with the Roman finds and that. It's been ploughed now so I'll be back on there as soon as uh, he, he harrows it and uh, we'll see what else we can find on there. Bound to have brought something more up. We'll have to wait now or might have to wait until the crops have uh, been harvested but uh, yeah I'll carry on on this field here. See what else we can find here. Getting near the road down here now, so it's going to get a bit noisy. 
So yeah, right, I'll see you on the next hole. I'm right by the road here. A bit noisy, I hope you can hear me all right. Yeah, had a nice little signal there. A little bit scratchy, but uh, down about seven inches, and I thought, found something nice here. But when I cleaned it up, <laughs> turned out to be a button. I think, anyway, yeah, it looks like a button. But look how small that is. I saw a bit of a pattern on there, you see. And I thought I found a, perhaps a Roman coin or something like that, or, or a hammered. But no, once I cleaned the back off, discovered then it looks like what, what's left of a shank. But um, these little things give you, get your heart going, don't they? I'm sure they drop them down there just to get your heart going. But there you are. Yeah. Right on the top of that plug. You can see how deep that was, about seven inches. I'm heading off over this way now, over towards that house there and then around. I haven't been in the middle of the field yet, but uh, just doing around the edge first. Yeah, we'll carry on and see what we can find here. Little things like this. <laughs> Get your ticker going. Right, yeah, I got a nice there. little signal here. Just getting it closer to that house. I'm not sure what it is yet. Looking round, looking very thin. Guaranteed it turns out to be a button. I haven't found any coins today yet, so I'll kind of try and reveal it together. And what it is. Well, there's no shank outside. No shank this side. No idea really. It's very thin. No idea what that is. That is very, very, very thin. Right, we'll have a look at that in a minute. And uh, I'll give it a clean up with the toothbrush and I'll get back. You're going to have to excuse the noise here and the wind. Somebody's doing a bit of mowing just behind me by the main road here. I've cleaned up that coin. I haven't got a clue what it is. There's no patterns or nothing this side, but there's a little bit of a pattern that side. I don't know if you can make that out. Just on the bottom here. Would that be part of a shield or something? Try and catch the sun a bit. No idea. It's copper. It's very, very thin. It's like a knife blade. No idea what that is. It's been there a long time. Just about make out a bit of a pattern down the bottom here. Anybody recognise what that might be? I don't know which way to hold it really. To could that be the bottom where the date is? I have no idea. Just a little bit on the top there. I don't know if you can make that out. It looks like a bit of writing. Anybody got a clue what that is? Let me know. Drop a comment down below. Tell me what it is. It's been there a long time anyway. There's no patterns this side. Something slight there, very slight there, but uh, no, can't really make out nothing on it. Anyway, let's get on. Heading over towards this big house there. Now we'll see what we can find. Right, some bag that. I'll see you on next. Well, I've come up quite a way now from the, the bottom of the house there, uh, around the edge here. And uh, a few bits of rubbish, bits of lead and things. I hope you can hear me alright with the wind. Facing the wind here a bit. What I'll do is turn around a bit to stop the wind. And I come across this enormous musket ball. Yeah. Best signal so far up this way anyway. Yeah, I don't know if that's been fired or not. Quite sticky. I'll have to clean it up again. Nearly dropped it then. Yeah, nice musket ball. It's had a bit of a wall up there, I think. Yeah, good stuff. I like finding musket balls. It's the best signal so far, anyway, from up there. Um, 
from the house behind me. I'm hoping that I haven't found a coin yet. I'm not sure if that other, well, that last find was a coin or not. It's very thin. And I'm um, not sure what it is. Can't make out any patterns on there to identify it, you know. Yeah, anyway, nice musket ball. Just heading up this way to the to the corner here, and just behind this hedge here is a is a um, barley field or, or something. Anyway, it's a ploughed field, crop field. So I'll be heading in there after. Uh, after the car is at the top there in the corner. I don't know if you can make that out there. So park in the gateway. I'll carry on up to that tree up there now and I'm going into the turn left into that field there and just see what's in there then. But uh I haven't been in the middle of this field yet. Only around the edge. So that's another day that is. I venture off into the ploughed field now in a minute. Let's see what else there is. Right, see you in the next one. Heading back to the car to have something to eat. And I thought uh, I saw this big old oak tree here. And I thought I'd have a sit down, you know, before I venture off into that field there. Crop field. Barley field, I think. And uh, just come up from this field here. So, yeah, done right round this field here. Not much in a way of finds really, but uh, some interesting bits and pieces, musket ball and that fancy little coin, that thin one, not sure what it is yet, but I thought I'd have a quick sit down here, five minutes and then get up to the car. So yeah, a little hole there. I thought I'd try it with the detector, you know, and uh, just got a little hole there and a strange little signal. Not sure what that is, there's a few markings on there. A couple of lines on there, not sure what that is. I think that's lead. But what it's off, I don't know. It's been shaped a bit. But I don't know what that is. Never expected to find something there, but there we are. We all try around trees, don't we? You never know what you find around them. Took the plug out, broke it up a little bit, and I come across that. A little bit of lead. Obviously broken off something. But uh, I have no idea. <laughs> No idea at all. Right, I'll head off back to the car now. I think I have something to eat, and then back to the barley field behind me, and I'll see you in a bit. Well, this is part two of my little hunt. Got this little barley field here today again. Um, well, we'll see what we can find here. Uh, there's another little field there as well, so I'll go in there one day again. Right, we'll make a start on this field here, see what we can find. Not a big field, I'd say about five, six acres. Uh, should keep me going for today anyway. So yeah, let's hope I'm lucky, some nice little finds here. Right, let's make a start then. See you in a bit. Oh, I've come from that gate at the top there, just by that big tree. And I come right round the edge. All the way to this point here now. Not much in the way of finds, only scrap and bits and pieces of rubbish. Best little signal I've had so far is this little buckle. I'm not sure if that's old or or modern. It's made of copper, I think, or brass, bronze. Not sure of the age of that. Little patterns there. I'm not sure of the age of that at all. Only a small little buckle. Down about five inches. Not much. But there's not much in the way of finds here so far. I haven't been in the middle yet. And I haven't completed the field yet. I haven't gone round yet. So yeah. This could be early 1900s, uh, 1800s, something like that maybe, I don't know. Quite hot down this end, it's quite sheltered, quite windy up the top there. So yeah, I'm going to carry on in the end, see what else I can find. And uh, I'll see you on the next hole. Alright, nice little signal here. Just dug it up and spotted what I found. I think it's a coin. 
Woohoo! Woohoo! Coin! First coin of the day. Wow! I've dug some rubbish up today. Loads of rubbish looking for coins. Can't always find coins, I know, but uh, <laughs> this is my first coin, and that's an unreadable. It's very thin. Probably my second coin today. I found that other thin one earlier on, but uh, I can't make out anything on it. But uh, yeah, nice. Nice to find a coin. Just come around that corner over there. Around these houses here. Can't show you too much. <laughs> but anyway, I come around that corner there and uh, have that little buckle. And I just come around the co around this part here. And I found a halfpenny. At least I think it's a halfpenny. It's very thin anyway, very worn. Anyway, we we'll bag that, we'll carry on and see if we can find another. Right, that's it. Well, that's it for today. I think I'll give up now. Uh, I've been around most of the field here. Uh, not this one, but the ones behind me. I come into this field to do a roundup because there's a bit, little bit less wind here. A bit of a shelter with the hedge in here. <laughs> so yeah, this is my roundup. Quite a bit. Mostly junk. Um, I've deposited a lot of junk in the hedge as well, so as you can see, dug quite a bit here today. Piece of lead pipe. It's a small section of lead pipe. So yeah, that's scrap. Not sure what this is. It looks like a piece of molten metal of some sort, bronze maybe. It's been heated up. It's been gone red at one time. Yeah, so there's that. Another piece of junk. That's all I've dug today actually. Pieces of rubbish. Not sure what that's off. A little bit, a bit of a pattern on the side there, but uh, nothing really interesting. Dug a lot of lead today piece of folded lead. Nothing interesting, just a chunk of lead being folded up. Not sure what this is. Some sort of nipple I imagine for, for a farm machinery. I've cleaned them up with a toothbrush as best I can but uh, you can't do everything. You can't get it all out you know. But uh, yeah some sort of grease nipple I reckon. for. A farm equipment. These little bits give you a cracking signal. I'm not sure what it is. It's only scrap anyway but I don't normally show all my scrap if you follow my channel. You see that I don't normally show scrap. Only when the finds are a bit, sh a bit short. And I normally show them at the, at the roundup. I don't show them when I dig them. So this is a tarpaulin uh, loop. Tarpaulin eye, whatever you want to call it. Give me a nice little signal again. Copper. Piece of molten lead. As I say, I've dug a lot of lead today. Just a piece of molten lead. This, I'm not sure. It looks like it's a casting of something. You know, like the top of a casting, and you break it off then, or cut it off, or whatever. Looks like something was moulded, and this is the top end of it. Yeah, give a good signal. Took a lot of these today, shotties. This one's quite modern, I imagine. 12 bore. I've dug a lot of the paper type. the paper type uh, shotgun cartridge. Eyes only find <laughs> a piece of clay pipe. 
never find a full pipe. Um, this is this one was. Um, I thought this was a shotty, but it's not. It's a stud in the leather, probably a horse harness or something like that, you know, and a piece of piece of brass, I imagine they are copper or brass or something, stud inside a bit of leather, part of a belt or something. Yeah, so there's that. Another bit of scrap. This one's an odd find. I found it by an old oak tree. I thought I'd go around the old oak tree, you know, and check. And I got this nice little signal there. So I decided to dig it. I thought I'd have to sit down there, you know, and a bit of a break. So I dug it. It's got some little lines on there. I'm not sure what that was to start with. It's shaped anyway, and looks like it's broken off somewhere. So I'm not sure really. Made of lead anyway. Um, not sure. Was this a button? Was that was that where the shank was? I think it's made of pewter. It's only a small button anyway. If it is a button, but I thought that was a um, a Roman coin or a, or a hammer to start with. When I dug it up, I saw I could see was that little bit there. But then, taking all the mess off. Reveals that. Yep. These tiny bits of lead, they give some good signals, don't they? Tiny little bit of lead. <laughs> Job to find them. Now I've no idea what this is. It looks like a bullet. But how did it get to that shape? You can see the crimped top. It's a crimped top, like a like a um, a blank. We're firing a blank, you know, a blank round. But how did it get to that shape? It hasn't been fired. There's an odd find, isn't it? How on earth did it get to that shape? And it's pretty heavy. I'd imagine it's still full of gunpowder. Hasn't been fired at all, see, as you can see there. Very odd. Uh, this gives me a massive signal. Although it's only a piece of copper copper wire, perhaps. Uh, maybe something to do with the, the power lines here that's running around the place. An offcut of copper wire. A draw handle, early 30s or something like that, I imagine 1930s, draw handle, pull, made of brass, they shine up nice if you want to shine them up, but uh, no it's not for me anyway, I don't shine them up, yeah, and a little stud, again I thought that was a hammer to start with, when I first dug it up. It's made of aluminium I think. A little bit of red paint on it. It's probably an aluminium stud or something. Or a rivet. Window latch. That gave me a hell of a signal that one. Quite disappointed when I dug it up. Just an old window latch. <laughs> yeah. Another little bit of lead. I thought that was a piece of shale to start with, but uh, the pinpointer picked it up. Just a piece of lead. Nothing exciting. This little buckle I found right down by the bottom there, the field. I thought it was it was copper, but it looks like it's it's made of iron. So that's not very old. Probably copper coated iron or something like that anyway, something something coating iron on it. But it gave me a good signal, that's a, the puzzling thing about it. It gave me a good signal. Yeah. Musket ball, big one. I don't think this one's been fired. It's 
too much of the, the nipple on there it hasn't been cut off properly and it's an odd shape as well maybe it has been fired but I don't know maybe it hit something a little nipple there again so yeah nice musket ball some date on that I imagine the whiter they are the older they are they say so yeah nice find I found that coin I think it's a coin I've tried to clean it up with the, uh, the toothbrush as best I can it's very 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 thin it's as sharp as a knife and there's a few patterns on there, I don't know if you can make that out it might be a token or something I don't know, I'm not sure anybody know what that is? have a guess what it is? leave a comment below a few patterns there, you might see it with the camera, I don't know Another coin, this one's a halfpenny I think, can't really get any detail off it. Some patterns on, some patterns on there, I can't make them out. I don't know if you can make them out. Can't make out much on this side. But there's a few patterns that side, it looks like a some sort of shield or something there, it might be a, a um, gaming token I don't know but the best find of the day is this Russian uh, flax bale seal Jed Peace Havens collects these if he contacts me I'll send it to him it's got H A B B E P C E H E R, I think that is. H thirty three. S P B two and a one. Uh, looks like a C C eighteen thirty six. Never expected to find one of these down this way. Peace Havens collects these, he's made a, a website of them. So yeah, if you want this Jed, give me a shout and I'll send it to you. Right, that's the end of my roundup. The end of my finds. And I just come into this field here just to do the roundup for, for the shelter, you know, a bit of shelter from the wind. But uh, I haven't been on this field yet, or the one behind it. A few houses at the top there. But uh, yeah, this is for another day. And I'll say goodbye and uh, I'll see you all on YouTube. Alright, don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, share if you like. And I'll see you all on YouTube. Alright, ta then.